a lot of people have been writing me and stuff like asking about like you know how how am I dealing with what what I'm going through um and stuff like that like how am I getting through it so easily or whatever and honestly like it's not an easy thing to get over like no I'm not gonna be on social media like bawling my eyes out but it's like it's been like three weeks almost it's been almost like three weeks or two and a half or whatever like and I'm a very strong-minded person I'll let y'all know that right now like once once it's out of my sight and I like I'm a I'm a out of sight out of mind type of person. He's blocked on everything. So um so that like once I like I'm once I don't see you, once I don't like and plus like he hasn't plus like he ain't said nothing to me. So <laughs> so once like you know like th like that I don't see you, like I will eventually not think about you. Like I'm very strong minded. Like if, if, if I don't want to think about something, if I don't want to be around somebody, if I don't, you know, want anything like that to happen, then I will eventually get over it. Like it and it's like it'll be times like where it kinda like hits me, it's like, damn, like that really happened because like he was honestly like my best friend. Um we did like everything together from working out to watching stuff to new shows to you know like everything and i really thought that like that was it for me like i was very very like i just knew that i was gonna marry him and that was gonna be the, the only dick that i got for the rest of my life like i was and i was prepared for that you know wanted that all that but you know god has different plans and god has different ways of like showing you stuff and honestly like I asked him for so many signs and I feel like that he was giving me signs or whatever and I was just like I was like no you know that's 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 not a sign like I can I can handle that because like so much stuff happened like on our side of stuff that you guys will never know because it's not my stuff to tell and I'm I'm not gonna be like oh this you know like because at the end of the day like I was with him and I did love him and I wanted to be with him. People have been writing me, like, asking me for advice for stuff that they're going through because it's, like, I'm a very, like, not vulnerable. Yeah, I guess, like, vulnerable and transparent person. Like, if I'm going through something, then, like, you guys are going to be with me, like, through the ups, through the downs, through, like, everything. Like, no, I'm not going to tell you guys, like, like, every single thing because it's, like, you know, I ain't got time, but... Yeah, like, you guys are going to be with me, like, for, like, a good amount, you know, of my life and stuff. And, like, and be here for, you know, for a good amount of the time. So, it's like, I'm not going to be one of those people that just shares the good stuff because that shit's not real. Like, it's not. I hate, like, like following people on, like, Instagram or whatever and they just make it look like that their lives are just 100% perfect all the time. It's not. Life is not perfect, and I used to tell him this all the time. It is okay to not be okay. It is okay to not be okay. Okay? Like, you're not going to be okay all the time, and that's okay. We're human shit happens but at the end of the day like you you just got to take that shit and just run with it i have to get stuff out that's why i write that's why i talk to you guys because i have to get stuff out because it like me it's like if it stays in then i overthink and it festers and then all hell breaks loose i don't want all hell to break loose okay this situation is already tough enough so and i know somebody somewhere out there is probably dealing with the same shit or maybe even worse or you never know what people could be going through so it's like i'm a very open person regardless of what the situation is get it out let it out cry it out me personally when when i get frustrated or upset i go to the lake scream sit there for hours you know whenever i need to and that seems to help me just being around nature and stuff i'm i'm country low-key so anybody that is going through anything you know like like i told y'all i'm very open i'm very 
you know, transparent with, with you guys. I don't mind if you guys write me, you know, because you want to talk about something, you want my perspective, anything like that. It don't even have to be me because y'all don't know me, you feel me? And, and y'all, I don't have my business. So, like, you know, just find you somebody that will just listen. And I mean, like, really listen. Like, don't find no biased-ass friends that, that want you to be single so y'all can go out and hoe. Don't. Just don't. Like, find you somebody that genuinely cares about you and your well-being and just get it out. Because keeping all that stuff in, I'm telling you, it's damaging. It's so damaging. And it's just, it's just not healthy. It's not healthy. Get that shit out. Mental health is important. Write it down. Get it out. Um, don't, don't be afraid to talk to someone, like, even if you have to get, like, a therapist or something, like, it's okay. Like, don't, don't let anybody tell you, oh, bitch, you don't, you don't need no therapist. If you feel like that you need a therapist or something, or you, you know, really want to, to take that, to take that extra step, because it's like, some people go through, like, some real stuff, and it can be traumatizing and damaging to them. So it's like if you really feel like that it's to the point where writing or screaming or yelling like won't help, take your ass to the therapist. Don't tell nobody. You don't have to tell nobody what the fuck you doing. You feel me? Like you don't owe nobody nothing. That is your health, your mental health, and you do whatever it is you need to do to be healthy. Mentally, physically, emotionally, go. Go do whatever it is you need to do. Like period. So the best advice that I can give to anybody out there that's like that's like going through anything like that and it's like it is think about yourself like regardless if you have kids regardless if y'all live together like any of that any of that because like there's no excuse for cheating, bro. Like you not about to you you not about to make me feel like cheating is inevitable. You not about to make me feel like that that is just going to happen because it shouldn't. That should not happen. So because it's not like that you just fall into her vagina. You feel me like like you willingly did that. So I'm willingly going up and leave. Like <laughs> like no. Um but just like my main my main point of this story is to literally think about yourself and i'm looking into the camera right now because like somebody someone needs to hear this think about yourself think about yourself i spent so much time consumed in his emotions and his feelings and making sure that he was mentally straight that I started neglecting myself and that's when I realized that that you know well that is like kind of when I started realizing that you know this ain't it because like because it's like if you if you pouring into somebody you constantly pouring into them pouring into them pouring into them and you ain't getting nothing back like you ain't getting poured back into like you then you're gonna be empty because you pouring out of yourself and ain't nothing pouring back into you you're gonna be empty and you can't pour from an empty pot so if ain't nobody pouring back into you then what then what what are you doing what what are you doing sis what are you doing so like just think about yourself like think about your mental state think about what makes you happy and if and if this relationship or what situationship, if whatever you're in is costing you your peace of mind and your happiness and stressing you out, the door. Because life is too short to be dealing with stressful stuff. And don't think that I'm like, oh, well, she ain't going to stay when it comes to like, I shouldn't have to build you. I'm not your mom. You feel me? Like, I can love you through a lot of stuff, and we can grow as people together, but as far as raising you, no. Don't, do not, sis, do not make it, don't, don't be over there trying to raise no man because you ain't gonna do nothing but raise him for the next female. Don't do it. Don't do it.
don't do it been around women who have stayed after their partner has has cheated but they've really been on some oh i don't think that i could trust them i don't and i don't want to live like that like i don't want to feel like that i want to go through your phone i don't want to feel like that i have to that we that you have to share your location with me i don't what am i gonna do like i'm not about to live my life like that what is my little part thing doing? i'm not about to live like that like i am not what is this this is like that the whole video oh my god yeah i'm not like because it's like that mm -mm. just no and i was mentally over it i guess as you could say because like i told y'all like i knew like it it was weird because it's like even like when it happened like back in March like I I used to get like feelings and I would tell him and I was just like something ain't right and he was like no you're just trying to find reasons to be unhappy so I was like hmm I do do that so I was like maybe 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 he's right but it's like that feeling just like never went away and even like our first night in Puerto Rico like I was just like something. And I was like, something's different between us. Like, and I know that you can feel it too. He was like, no, nothing's different. Nothing's different. And I was just like, I was like, nah, something, something ain't right. Um, I'll go to work. Hey, Tiffany. I will go to work and I'll see Tiffany like watching my videos or whatever. And it's just like, it's like, oh my God, like I'm on her phone. Like. She's actually like what like what? Like thank you guys for watching like seriously. Um like thank you for sharing, thank you for liking, thank you for commenting. Like